the why. Email etiquette is basically a set of do's and don'ts recommended for using emails effectively. Communication is an important life skill that enables us to better understand and connect with people around us. In businesses and work, the same communication happens over several electronic media and a lot over emails. It is inevitable. Hence, it's extremely important to follow certain guidelines. Using certain etiquettes have these four primary benefits. Professionalism. By using proper email language, you and your organization will convey a professional image. Efficiency. Emails that get to the point are much more effective than poorly worded emails. Clarity of expression. Construct an appropriate tone to avoid being misunderstood or misinterpreted. Protection from liability. Employ awareness of email risks will protect you and your organization from costly lawsuits. Even though these benefits might sound like great reasons to follow certain email etiquettes, they are not the real why you should follow them. The real why is in the basics of how we communicate and the impact of it. There are three parts to how we communicate. What we say, the content or the words, how we say, the voice modulation and tone, and what expressions accompany it, the body language and the gestures. Let me mention that the tone is very important here. It involves the volume, the emotion and the emphasis placed on words in a particular way. In fact, neurolinguists are proving that it's more about the tonality and less about the content. The same sentence can be said in a number of ways and give a completely different meaning every time. For example, let me take this sentence, is he on the board? Notice how the tonality changes the meaning completely. Is he on the board? Is a completely shocked reaction. Is he on the board? Somebody who's clearly irritated. Is he on the board? Somebody who's fearful. What we say, how we say, and what expressions accompany it, the combination of these three is what we use to communicate something differently. A single statement could have different interpretations based on what we say, how we say, and with what expression, like you just heard in the example of is he on the board. In face-to-face -face communication, what we say has only 7% impact. How we say carries a much higher impact of 38%. The expression or the body language is far more impactful and conveys 55% of what we want to say. In an email communication, how we say and with what expression don't exist. We have to convey everything with what we say. A male doesn't have a face, so it doesn't have the voice modulation, expressions, body language to supplement. It has only words. You need to make up for the limitations of your diction, tone and power of expression. That is why it becomes tricky and that is why etiquettes are important, especially in a business setup or work environment. Email is usually the way professional offices get their work done.